And I'm just going to open this up. I did this quick layout. Beautiful, right? <laughs> um, and I just wanted to show you how easy it is to group certain things like photos and maybe, you know, elements and then text. Okay. So what you do is you go in to layers and you over here to the right hand side, uh, by the way, these little two pieces are from Karen's Heart Song as well. And you can turn them on and off. Remember, you can do that with your layers. If you want to learn more about layers, I have an introduction to layers class and then um, all kinds of classes on layers. So this is mainly on layer grouping. And you might also call it folders in layers. So what you do is you select the two that you want to group together. Now you could go ahead and merge those together, but if you want to keep both of those layers, you do, um, hold on one second, control G. Now some people are saying, well, I thought that was clipping, but it's no longer clipping. Clipping has changed it's control alt G or command option G on the Mac for masking, for clip mas clipping masks, but now Control G or Command G on the keyboard will group things. So now when you click on the arrow that's right next to group one, you will see those two text pieces in there. They're linked together. Now if I wanted to link and group, sorry, the photo one and photo two, I'm holding my shift key down to select both of those. You can also hold the control key down to select if you're going to select like every other one. So I have those both selected. You can also right click and choose group from layers. And you can name that. I'm just going to keep it group too, but you can always name it. And here I'm going to go to the next one. Hold my shift key down. You can right click or you can do the short key command. I always try to tell you both ways. Nope. Group from layers. There we go and then group three. Pretty darn cool. So then you open that up. You can also change the color of that group if you want to by right clicking and maybe changing it to yellow, right click, violet, and so on and so forth. So that's just a real quick lowdown on that. I'll probably when I'm creating the what's uh, when I'm creating the new intro, intermediate, advanced, I'll probably go more into depth, but that's a cool feature as well. Thank you.